Anyone alive today, and especially younger people in the 21st century, has to know that if it were not for Winston Churchill, there's a very good chance that Western civilization wouldn't exist. We could all be living in a totalitarian state where your opportunity in life is provided by simply your race, your background. He is within a, a category of people who supersede time and all eras. For what he did, for the way that he inspired people, nations. A man who lived for 90 years, a man who was a leader of his nation in, in high government position in both the cataclysmic events of the 20th century, World Wars I and II. You might like the fact that he was ambitious and in a hurry, very effective. Uh, you might like the fact that he was um, not exactly reverent about authority. The greatest political leader of the 20th century rose to that status precisely because he stuck to his convictions and precisely because his view of politics was not one of partisanship or cynicism. A man who won the Nobel Prize for Literature, but yet was a man who had a, a union card as a bricklayer. A man who rode in the cavalry charge uh, and then became a politician and a parliamentarian. He made mistakes, he led with his chin, got knocked down, picked himself up, got knocked down, picked himself up. A, a man who painted 535 canvases in his lifetime. He never let a, a, a minute go by that he wasn't enriching himself uh, and thereby others. If you like uh, courage, if you like eloquence, if you like commitment to principle, Churchill is a man who had those things. If my grandfather could look down and see what people say about him, how much they quote him, and how he is revered, I think, of course, he couldn't help but be pleased. But what he would really like would be, I think, for his father to look down to and to know that the son, who he always said would be a failure, had been such a success.